Hey guys, so in today's video we'll be talking about my school organization system. In the first half I'll walk you through step by step how I organize my notes and papers for school and then in the second half we'll talk about some organizational tips and tricks that I have that could help you be more organized throughout the next school year. Before we start, I want to say that there isn't a right or wrong organization system. It completely depends on the classes you take, the note-taking methods you use, and a lot of other factors. Today I'm sharing the method that works the best for me to hopefully give you a few ideas on how you can organize your notes and papers more efficiently. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. My organization system is a mix of three different things. First I have a binder, then I have a smart ring notebook, and finally I have an expanding file folder for all of my papers. The whole point of this organization system is to combine all of the notes I need to take to school into this one binder so my backpack can be as light as possible and I don't have to carry around multiple binders or notebooks. Now let's go through each one of the three things I just mentioned and I'll explain how I use each one. First of all, the binder. The binder that I use isn't just any binder, it's specifically a binder notebook. Basically, instead of having two or three rings like a standard binder, it typically has 30 different rings, which ensures that none of the pages are ripping off, falling out, or anything like that. And these 30 different rings resemble a notebook, hence the name Binder Notebook. With this organization system, you still get to keep the normal functionality of a binder, meaning that you can open these rings and remove, add, or rearrange pages, which gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of organization. Inside my Binder Notebook, I have different dividers. I like to divide it by different subjects so that I can have all my notes for different subjects inside this one binder binder. However, a lot of my friends have a binder notebook for each subject and then they further divide it by different categories of papers like notes, assignments, essays, handouts, and things like that. As you're probably able to see, this binder notebook is quite slim, so there's no way it can fit all of my notes. So every time I'm done with a chapter or a topic that I no longer need in school, I'll take it out of my binder and then I'll use smart ring uh, plastic bindings to make it into a notebook. So if you got a little bit confused, let me explain. One day I was browsing AliExpress and I came across these plastic bindings and they were super affordable so I decided to give them a try. Essentially, this allows you to bind different loose leaf papers together and all you have to do is just close the rings and that's it. You have something that looks like a notebook. These plastic bindings allow me to have different notebooks for each subject while still being able to use loose leaf paper and I think that's really cool. In order to protect all of my notes, I always like to add a transparent protective sheet at the start of the notebook and then I like to add a title page which allows me to find the notebook that I need very easily. I have a protective sheet at the end of the binder as well. Every single time there's a new chapter or topic I need to add, I'm able to easily open up the rings, add the pages, and then close them again. It may seem like it's a lot of work, but honestly it takes 20 seconds, so it's definitely not a problem. And that is essentially how I use these smart ring bindings. The cool thing about this is that if any of my teachers require a notebook for the class, I'm easily able able to show them that I have a notebook for that class, even though this notebook contains loose leaf paper and isn't exactly a notebook. Now let's talk about all of my other papers and handouts and stuff like that. In order to take them from home to school and vice versa, I just use this little pouch that I have. If you guys have watched my what's in my backpack video, you already know about this and you also know that it has a super cute cactus design on it. But that's beside the point. Every day, once I get home from school, I like to go through each one of the papers that is inside this pouch, and then I organize all of those papers inside an expanding file folder that I have. I got this very cheap one from a local stationery store, and I've been using it for a few years. 
years now. It has a lot of different compartments which allow me to organize all of my papers. I have different sections for past papers, for assignments, for essays, for handouts. There are so many categories, I don't want to go through each one, but this system really allows me to keep all of my papers organized. Now that we're done talking about how I organize my notes and papers, I want to give you a few of my organizational tips and tricks that I've picked up over the years that will hopefully make you a bit more organized throughout the upcoming school year. The first tip that I have is to avoid using folders. By this I mean folders that have multiple compartments, sheet protectors that you put inside your binder, any type of folder that you can think of. The reason is because folders encourage you to shove all your papers inside one place without organizing them and when exam season comes and you actually have to reference these papers, it's really hard to find the paper that you need since you're not exactly able to see each one of them and there's a huge pile and when you somehow magically locate the paper that you need and try to take it out a lot of the time other pages come out with it and it's just overall a huge mess so I highly recommend hole punching any papers that you can hole punch and putting them directly in your binder and if you cannot do that then I recommend using folders that have binding on the side the advantage of this folders is that you're able to flip through the pages and access the information on them without having to take anything out. And whenever you do want to get the pages out, it's not as messy as with normal folders. The second tip that I have for you is to organize daily or weekly. It's so much easier to dedicate two minutes of your day after school to organize all your notes and papers that aren't where they belong. Or you can do that weekly for about 10 minutes. However, if you put it off until the end of the semester and you have a huge pile of paper, it's going to take hours to try to find a place for each one of the papers. And overall, it will be a much harder task to tackle. So I highly recommend that you establish a habit of cleaning weekly or daily to keep your organization system clean. The next step that I have is to digitalize your notes, especially notes from previous grades that you rarely ever use. They take a lot of space in your drawers and instead it's so much easier to scan them into a PDF document. It will be a lot more accessible since you'll be able to access it from different devices. Also PDF documents take pretty much no space on your phone or computer, whereas all these notes, binders, folders, everything that you have take a lot of space in your drawers so digitalizing your notes is a great way to declutter your room and get rid of stuff Another tip that I have for you is to experiment with your organization system. As I said in the beginning of this video, there isn't a right or wrong organization system. So instead of just sticking to something that you've been using for years now, try something new every week, tweak things until you find something that works even better. A system that you use in middle school probably won't work well in high school, and a system that works really well for one subject may not be great for another another one. So always be on the lookout for new ways and more efficient ways to organize your notes. Before we wrap up this video, make sure to let me know in the comments down below whether you prefer using notebooks or loose leaf paper. If you guys were paying attention throughout the video, you already know that I'm a huge fan of loose leaf paper. Also, make sure to rate this video down below with a like or a dislike to let me know how you felt about the video. And if you do end up disliking it, please also write a comment and tell me how I can improve my videos. If you enjoyed the video and would like to see more content from me, then make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications. For the next month or so, I'll be posting multiple times a week and I have super cool videos planned that you do not want to miss out on. And the final 
final plug that I want to make today, if you want to participate in different quizzes and polls, see even more content from me and chat with me, then make sure to follow me over on Instagram at Ellen Kelly Studies because that's where I answer your questions, chat with all of you guys, do different polls where you're able to choose the upcoming videos and share a lot of fun stuff. So make sure to do that and I'll see all of you very, very soon in my next video. Have an amazing day. Bye.